A good structure for your game will save you time, whether you're working on a small or big project. Having an organized structure makes everything easier to manage. Without it, just finding things can feel like a challenge. In this video, I'll show you how I structure my games and share some useful resources and tips. If you find this helpful, please subscribe, so let's slide in. The base folders for any project I make are the following. I usually make a add-ons folder, then I make an assets folder, a scenes folder, a scripts folder, and that's it. On add-ons, you would have your add-ons inside of the add-ons folder. On assets, if you're working with 3D and Blender, you would have another folder with the name Blender. If I open up the assets folder now, I would also have a audio folder. Inside of the audio folder, I would have music and then I would have SFX as well. Inside of scenes, you could have a player scene and in scenes you could have levels and menus. I'm going to drag it out so it's easier to see. Then you would probably even have enemies, so that could be enemy. And then I would make the same folders inside of scripts. And I think this is a really good foundation for any Giro game. One nice feature that was added to Giro is that you can right click on folders and you can give them a color. And that's under set folder color. I usually do red and then green and then blue because I like RGB and then for the subfolders of the folders I don't like to change the color of them because I want to know which folder I'm inside of so I would recommend keeping them the same color as the you could say parent folder and then another important thing for organizing is the naming of the files if I for example make a new 3D scene here and use other node and add a character body 3D. If I were to save the scene, Giro automatically suggest a name with lowercase and underscores between words. If I were to save this now, this would for example go into the player under scenes. And the icon in my folder would go into actually a different folder in assets, which I would call textures. And then I would drag in the icon inside of there. And if you want to, you can go deeper. For example, inside of the textures, you may want to have textures for the particles. And maybe inside of the particles, you have, let's say, Kenny. And right now, you can see that this is going four folders deep. And I wouldn't recommend going too deep inside of folders because that can get confusing as well. I would probably recommend a limit of maybe five folders deep and no more. Because if your project looks like a staircase, that may be a little bit too much. And you may be wondering if scenes of assets should be stored inside of assets. And I would just recommend putting all the .tcn files inside of scenes. And then you can make another one and call this assets. Some files like shaders have .gd. Since shaders are technically scripts, it's probably recommended to put them inside of the scripts, but you could also put them inside of the assets if you want to. Blender suggested naming conventions. You should put version numbers if you have multiple versions of the same things. Let's say you have trees in different colors or shapes. Blender recommend a dash, but I would suggest sticking with the Giro naming and using underscores instead. That would look something like duplicating the character body 3D and doing underscore V2. And I would also recommend naming the, the first file to underscore v1 if you're doing something similar to this. If I now were to attach a script to the character body 3D and hit create, there's also organization when it comes to the script. And on the official Giro documentation, they have a style guide for how you should write your code. This isn't as important sticking with, but it's still good to have a basic understanding on what's recommended. So I wouldn't blame you if you don't follow this. And an even better thing than this would be giving good names to your variables and functions in your game. That will make a bigger difference than the order of things. And if you're having troubles with coming up with good names for the variables, I would recommend asking our AI. Some things in your project you may not want to change the location of. Let's say you were to export your game, you will get the export underscore preset file. This I wouldn't recommend moving inside of any folder because I've had issues with it not working. Another thing you may have issues with if you move it would be the default bus layout. If we were to go into the audio 
and save the default boss layout and then hit save. I've had issues when moving this inside of folders, so I would recommend keeping these two inside of the root of the game. This is also supposed to save you time in the long run, by making it easier to find what you're looking for. But if you go too deep with the folders, or make things too complicated, it may cause things to be even harder. I would recommend this simple framework shown in this video. Thanks for watching and special thanks to the Kofa members for making this video possible. If you want to support my work and have your name be featured in future videos, check out my Kofi in the description. I'll see you in the next one.